welcome today we are going to discuss about the ethical issues related to a very very important and relevant topic for today which is for computers softwares and digital information as we know like with the advent of time computers are getting used more and more so and technology has like become a part and parcel of our life and in every aspect we find use of technology digital information we use softwares but what are the ethical issues relevant to it and how engineers should be aware of it and how they will use it is the like framework of today's discussion so let us see what is there in the module of today's discussion so the module will cover emergence of computer ethics issues in computer ethics power relationships job elimination customer relations biased softwares military weapons property issues like embezzlement and data and software issues privacy issues like inappropriate access data bank errors and hackers and professional issues like computer failures and health conditions so like we'll first start with the discussion of why ethics is relevant in the field of computers or how the both the fields of computers and um, ethics gets connected so like we understand like computers today occupy a very prominent place in important place in our society so they they are considered to be the technical backbone of our society any we just cannot think of any field today whether it is professional or personal where there is no use of computers now so just i was telling it has like become a like part and parcel of our life and it has like got intricately related to every aspect of our life so with this increasing use of computers the new area of computer ethics have emerged like if there is a conflict of interest between two parties then how to solve that what is right and what is wrong what should be done what should not be done in certain cases of dilemma is the area where computer ethics like focuses on so this ethics is mainly um, concerned with or its holds a uh, special importance for the new groups of professionals like um, computer engineers uh, designers programmers system analysts and computer operators because everybody has their own field of expertise stated responsibilities uh, what they can do and if they're working within an organization also that gives a um, professional uh responsibility and responsibility as an employee towards that organization so different like interweb of relationship starts and ethical issues crops in so this field of discussion will be related to that so what will be the important issues in computer ethics as we told like it could be power relationships it could be property issues it could be issues of privacy and it could be professional issues also we will be looking into each of these one by one starting with power relationships we understand like uh, computers have given like a huge Uh, power ability to the organizations uh, to deal with the heaps and heaps of data um, easily and it has also given the capability to do many jobs effectively so because we understand it, this gives a lots of power to the organization so when initially if you remember like when it was introduced so 
many people thought like many social critics thought like it will lead to the concentration of power only in few hands those who know like who, who have the knowledge of computers who can use it and those who do not know uh, it will be the uh, people who will be less powerful. So, this was one issue concentration of power. Another thing is that with the like increase in portability of the computers, they can be used at multiple locations, they can be um, taken anywhere and any device can be connected to the other device and it leads to a lot of ethical issues, responsibilities, awareness for the, um, for the control of these things. Because it, all it may be relates to is a responsible use of the uh, devices to become um, more responsible towards the duties people have not only to oneself but also to the others and uh, to like understand what what it means to be a responsible use. So one of the most important area of focus which falls under the domain of computer ethics and why there was the social critics were much concerned about the introduction of computers were for the fact of job elimination. So, it is a true fact like computers can um, do like heaps of jobs to you know like very easily and within a less time with more efficiency. So, it has led to uh, elimination of some jobs. Uh, clubbing of two three jobs together and it has um, led to like removal of some people from the job. So, this leads to an ethical question. So, how to like ensure the right to work for these people? What is the responsibility to train them? So, can they be like reskilled for another kind of work which is more relevant and which the work which is not to become obsolete. So, sometimes it happens like we think like the people has person has become obsolete, but if we can train that person can we fit him to another job which is recent one by reskilling that person. So, these are some questions ethical issues to deal with like when we are talking of the manpower. Uh, reorientation uh, in, after the introduction of uh, computers. So, what we can think law like is that if if you are in a very large organization, there is a possibility of readjusting work assignments, maybe adjusting workloads or assigning other tasks to people. But in small organizations, such uh, possi possibilities are not there. So, what we have to understand is the way the moral considerations of human costs attached to the emergence of computers. So, like can we drastically introduce computers and make people feel like they are redundant, obsolete and what is the cost related to it. So, cost in terms of maybe a person suffering job loss, maybe his, his or her family suffering. So, we have to understand this and balance it with finding a better opportunity for the person if truly computer is required for the job that the person was doing. Can we reskill, retrain that person so that the person becomes more efficient, more uh, develops the competency for a new job role. So, these are the considerations that requires to be maintained. Another important point is um, customer relations. So, it, it so happens because we understand like 
uh, whether organizations who are using businesses who are using computer based services what is the level of their public accountability so in many cases what happens the details the personal and the financial details of consumers are usually taken by these companies and maintained as records so it is again the responsibility of the company to ensure like that nobody uses details in a very unethical way so it is not shared with other companies for their businesses without the prior knowledge of the consumers but in many cases this is done so uh, which encroaches upon the privacy of the consumers like one company may have taken my personal and financial details it enters into uh, understanding with the another company with whom it shares the data and then that company starts promotional campaigning does phone call or sends you like advertisements for accessing their services which sometimes become like maybe irritating for the consumer so uh, whether this can be done without the knowledge of the um, person consumers who have shared their data to a particular company for their particular purpose but whether companies can um, share their data with each other without informing the consumer about it is an ethical question so there are other issues also like uh, if somebody this, this could be small issues like if your grocery store is which issues a computerized bill should not use use codes to display items as the consumers may not be able to map what they have purchased and what they are paying for so this example may be a very day to day small example but these are important issues for understanding from the view point from the perspective of the consumer what they really want um, from the businesses who are using like computers for the ease of their functioning and what is the degree of responsibility they expect from these companies maybe in some very big in depth issues some may be very small minor issues but this could could be the range of expectations biased software <coughs> so uh, the computer software which are used for running the programs should be neutral it should not be biased to get um, they should not be created to get biased results so um, it should be created to get unbiased results and not what the developer intends to get so um, this is more relevant for engineers who design softwares uh, to check feasibility scores for projects so um, they should make it very sure like the um, software that they are designing um, should not be biased towards the results in one direction only stock trading stock trading is an automatic hands off computer trading of the stocks futures and options in the stock market so this we understand is a very like sensitive issue in the sense what assurances exist with respect to the fact the power controllers in the organization who have control over the organ algorithms that are developed to run the softwares do not um, exercise power to manipulate the market and control the prospective selling and purchases of the processes keeping their interest in mind so what we are discussing over here is the conflict of interest of the people who are 
developing the uh, computer uh, trading like uh, algorithms for the stocks, but because they know the algorithm and maybe it um, could be a conflict of their personal interest where they try to um, influence the manipulate the market and control the prospective selling and purchase processes. So, these are called like conflicts of interest happening and again what is your degree of self discipline in whether you will be doing it or not doing it, but who is going to give that assurance. So, who is like who is trustworthy, how can we trust, what are the qualities which needs to be present in the person, so that we can trust that person. So, this again becomes a question of not only rights and responsibilities and duties, but the virtuous nature of the person who is dealing with these important algorithms. So, we when you are talking of ethics, here we are more talking of the personal values and dutiful nature of the person who which makes the person realize the importance of their duties towards the greater society and to others. Military weapons, this is another important uh, area which needs to be focused is like um, when you talk of defense softwares, many countries today are like creating autonomous weapons that can be aimed and fired on board through new emerging technologies. So, what is the degree of perfection required in it? Who is responsible for it? How many checks do you do to understand it is like full proof it will be working correct what is the degree of care that you take in developing it these are very important aspects to be dealt with with this computerized dis defense softwares so because it has created a dangerous instability even if they are working perfectly because we understand one wrong command can prove to be costly beyond imagination. So, we have to understand, we have to realize the degree of harm that may be provided by a small level of negligence on one's part. So, what is the due care taken, what is the extent of care taken to find out what is the depth of maybe alternatives that we have tested to find out like whether it is working properly or not. So, to and maybe to what extent we have extended our moral imagination to find out what could be the possible misuse also and what are the preventive actions that we may take, so that nothing wrong is going to happen because again we understand one wrong command in the sense is really very costly. So, big, these are important because it, it, it means power. So, those countries who are in the control of this computerized nuclear weapons are may dominate others and they and they get unused demand fulfilled. So, that is why it is very important to understand the degree of like consequences that may happen if one wrong commands happen or what is the like importance of this. So, that we need to have a proper check on its proper function. When you are talking of um, property, we understand the one like very, very widely discussed area of computer crime is that with related to property, where we talk of 
embezzlement of funds and stealing of money or financial assets. So, what we find like um, in many cases with the advent of computers and computer technology with just a few clicks millions of money can be transferred from one account to the other creating bankruptcy in seconds for the other. So, these are some of the threats that which are there when you talk of embezzlement. So, um, we find like computers are in many cases are involved when extortions are attempted via phones which are covered under computerized um, telephone system. So, sometimes unauthorized um, persons use computers to obtain private phone numbers or use them for malicious activities. So, like the technology has made people made it very easy for people to contact people by hiding their identity and make fools of them by embezzling their funds. So, these are important areas where we need to keep a self check on and maybe understand the what are the degrees of risks involved and more so like who can be trusted and what are the trustworthiness and at the end of course is self responsibility understanding or duty to others and not to get involved in these type of activities. So, there are two factors which makes computers very troublesome and which like makes it very important for their wise usage um, and the, their speed and like geographical coverage is huge which talks of which allows large number of people to be victimized. So, and it is the difficulty of tracing the underlying transactions to get hold of the thieves. So, and maybe if it is cross borders using lines by crossing national boundaries, the, it, the problems becomes further more complex. So, in this case again it, it is very important like it is not only a wise usage is required in this, but also it is the wide usage of these computers throughout which requires a wise usage and responsible usage of the computers. So, that we like it is a sort of self discipline and control on our greed. So, these characteristics becomes more important when you are talking of this, because if we understand so much wide usage like it is become untraceable, thieves are not being able to caught like it is been used cross boundaries, then and it becomes difficult to check. So, it is like it is a free playing ground like if you want to do anything, you can do anything, then who is going to stop you? Of course, it is me who is going to stop myself if I do have a conscience if I do have a caring mind which tells us about the like uh, makes us aware of the duty that we have not only to ourselves, but also to others. Because if everybody is not becoming responsible for their duties, the cycle of harm is going to prevail. If I am going to harm someone today, so I cannot guarantee, I cannot ensure like the other person is not going to harm me the next day in a much maybe trickier way, where I am not able to understand how I got cheated. So, it is a self question of trust and trustworthiness, self discipline, these are the things which becomes important in the wise usage of the computers. So, some of the commonly discussed cases of computer abuse relates to the embezzlement of funds from people's accounts by hacking their passwords or stealing their private and financial confidential information. So, this um, has been reported in many cases 
with respect to cheating by employees at work, non-employees to former employees, cheating clients, violation of contracts or computer sales, etc. So there are repeat cases about it. Another important thing which has become um, like very rampant these days is that of receiving emails and receiving mails about certain things which we will try to see like what about what issues uh, that we receive mail. So, it has been sometimes what we, we sometimes receive mails from anonymous IDs uh, who declare millions of rupees uh, as rewards and the as a part claim of processing ask you us to provide our important personal and private uh, and uh, financial informations. So, we should be like uh, aware of these uh, emails. Sometimes it happens people may ask like uh, they have got trapped somewhere and they uh, they have got trapped somewhere and they need funds. So, they, which is a sort of help that needs to be transferred uh, to their bank accounts and all these type of mails come but we really need to be careful about these type of mails. When you are talking of data and software, so data denotes information which is stored in computer software talks refers to programs that direct an electronic machine to perform certain tasks specifically solving problems. Because of the developments in technology, it has become easy for people to steal huge heaps of information and store them in small chips or devices like hard disk. So, softwares help people to decode information uh, written in codes and to use them for their own purposes. So, again capability given is huge like the power to use given is huge and also the power to misuse for providing harm to others is also given huge. It is the path that we choose for ourselves. So, because storage and uh, retrieval of huge data has become quite easy because of the developments in technology, it is thus made easy for people to access the private information of others. So, that is why by making data easily available to others, computers made it very difficult for people to protect their privacy. We may debate about the fact like why we what why we need to maintain some privacy, why why the information should not be shared with others. So, these these are again questions of debate like what are those informations which needs to be shared with others and for what purposes we are going to share it and what are those information which are private and we are uh, like we can tell like we are not going to share these things with others. So, there's these could be debates, there could be changing views, different views, but we have to understand. So, it is uh, computers have made it difficult for people to protect their privacy. And what could be the issues in privacy like inappropriate access. So, be, that we were discussing it is um, because of the advent of technology, because of the advancements in technology, it has become quite easy for people to um, know how to hack or get inappropriate access into the information of individuals and even organizations. So, if such like information or details are 
uh, suppose the financial details are accessed by people who are planning a crime. So, it can lead to blunders and bankruptcy of a lot of people. So, again who is going to stop it, how like what are the uh, legal procedures that we may have, what is the degree of vigilance that we will be having, so that we can stop these issues are important points of discussion. Because though we are telling like it depends on the self responsibility of the people, it understanding the duty of the person to do something. So, like can we expect every people to be responsible to understand their self responsibility or we need to have side by side also some institutional mechanism very strong to understand how, how to arrest for this, uh, keep a check on this type of behavior and what are the degree of like vigilance to be maintained. So, that we can proactively do something, we can set some guidelines, we can set some code, we can set some guidelines to what, how can we make the legal mechanism very strong. So, that we can like arrest these type of behaviors getting repeated or done again. Okay. Uh, data recording errors, sometimes the errors made while keeping records in databases or not um, updating the records on time could prove to be very costly. So, what happens like if while maintaining the records of criminals photos of uh, if suppose in hypothetical case photos of two criminals are replaced by innocent people, then their life will become miserable. So, or suppose like if somebody has already cleared the roll amount, but the details are not updated by the bank officials in the system. So, his name may appear to be a defaulter and bank may start taking actions on him, but with which is due to no fault of his, because of the maybe the data were not updated. So, then in this case we can understand who is at fault who is responsible. So, like Mr. Yen is responsible or the um, bank is responsible. There could be again debates of it like why maybe he has not kept the um, receipt and why the he, he did not tell like I have submitted the documents, I have submitted the loan. So, there could be a series of arguments for it, but what again it hints towards responsive use of the technology, the power of technology that people have at hand. Hackers, so this, these are people who compulsively challenge any computer security system. Some even like carry the art to place Trojan horses that choke networks with dead end tasks and spew out false information, erase files or even destroy equipments. So, these are like should we be doing it is a, again a question and because when we understand any information which is important, so and people have taken time and invested money, invested time, invested manpower in like getting those information, then um, should we be doing it? And again the counter argument could be if we understand this will be there, then what is the degree of security that should be embedded in the computer security system, so that we can prevent these sudden attacks. So, this is like an ongoing circular process, but again it talks of responsibility on both of sides like those who are dealing with the security system, we have to be like cautious about have we made the security strong enough, have we made the security system strong enough, so that we can withstand our system can withstand any sort of attack. And again from the hackers part like should we be doing it when somebody has really taken effort to collect this data and that data is 
that information is important to that person. So, this is a like a clear case of violation of property rights. So, because if um, we can understand because of the complexity of the system and the um, due to the hackers activity you may have like if you, if your bank account is hacked so then what happens you will have you will have nothing left in the account it's not possible even to get hold of the hacker so it, it brings a lot of disturbance in the life of the person and it's a very like tedious process to like solve this. So, again who is responsible and to what extent and what is our degree of dutifulness to others are, are the things which gets repeated again and again when you are talking of this. Professional issues. So, like with many of the issues which talks of degrees of uh, um, job complexity and require technical proficiency are introduced. So, this may lead to like um, new variations of difficulties will be involved like what is the information which needs to be shared, what is that information we are not going to share with others. So, then what is our responsibility in terms of uh, uh, suppose like computer failures. So, and that two failures in terms of um, software and hardware. So, like if software failures may ha is um, happening then it may lead to like collapse of the whole of the design application and we can understand like um, because of a wrong code see several patients uh, may die because of the uncontrolled amount of radiation. So, what is again the degree of responsibility both for while you are talking of the failures in software and also failures in hardware. So, so it can occur due to the faulty logic in the design formulation or faulty coding instructions. So, it that brings into the forefront the importance of trials and how many trials they should be doing ethically and they should not be taking anything very lightly, casually, less seriously because and um, they should have even in the trial phase and because they should not make that error remain so that when they can charge the clients again for resolving these issues these are not expected and these are unethical. So, in health conditions so um, while working in computers um, sometimes affect the health and of the users of this system. So, what are the ergonomic considerations which are in effect to reduce like back, back problems, provide risk support and good uh, keyboard layouts. These are like important issues because ultimately a person who is working on the computer terminals um, again and again repeatedly it may affect the health condition of these people. So, how much caring we are for these people, what is the degree of care we take for these users and what is the ergonomic support that we give to them are also very important part of the professional risk uh, like um, uh, responsibilities that the employers may have towards their employees. So, or the supervisors may have towards their team members or their juniors. So, these we have discussed like what are the issues related to computers, weapons, data, software, their issues related to the professional ethics, their issues related to very small like different facets like professional responsibilities with respect to 
computer failures and not only their work, but what is the responsibility of the engineers towards the users of these maybe computers, their health care taken for their health aspect, the ergonomic aspects. So, it involves a wide facet of discussion and one or two things which comes up prominently again and again over here because computers equips us with power, computer equips us with the capability to make our life more comfortable, make our work easy. But again, it demands from us a responsible use of it because the same power which can be used to do good for lots of people, if it is misused, it brings disaster to the lives of people. So, it is a point of our choice how we are going to do it use it for the good of the humanity or misuse it and bring disaster to the life of the people. It is a responsible use, it is our duty to others and to ourself also because it is a relationship of trust and trustworthiness and a sense of care that we have for the humanity and to the environment, to the whole like connections at large so that this balance is not disturbed. We have power, but we have responsibility also to use it for the good of all and not to provide harm to any. Thank you.